Miss Peanut Head here today and I'm going to show you my night out on the town look. So I've already applied all of my foundation because I just wanted to get that done and out of the way with. So we're going to move on again to using our concealer pen to highlight, if I can find my concealer pen, just kidding, I found it. And this is Cargo, it is their HD concealer pen. So I'm just taking that straight down the middle of my nose again. And then I'm going to do it underneath my eyes. And I'm doing a V pattern again. A weird triangle. And on the other side. And we're all done. And I'm going to take my beauty blender again and just blend that all in. And again, we're going to focus by going up and out and on the other side. Boom! Okay, after we're done with that, we are going to set it with our Sephora Bright Set Powder. And the color again is Banana. So just take a little bit again on a beauty blender. And just push that underneath your eyes on the tip of your nose down that and again underneath that other eye Woo. and we are all done with that I'm just gonna let it bake on my face and while it's doing that I want to show you guys my super cool shoes that I got in today they're jellies and they're platforms. I'm so excited. This is like living out a childhood dream. I was never able to have these growing up because they were just, they were too big. These were like adult shoes and I was just a kid in the 90s so they had jellies but they never sold any platforms in like the kid sizes that were like this. So I'm like super, super excited. I'm going to be wearing these out today because they're just so, so cool. So I was super excited. I just wanted to show you guys my new shoes. Okay, so I'm done letting this bake on my face. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to brush off that extra powder. All done. Okay, next we're going to move on to our eyes. I'm going to be using, again, an Urban Decay primer, but this one's a little bit different. It's a different color. This one is Sin, so it kind of has like a bronze shimmer to it while as the other one the original one has no color it just primes your eyes and the reason I'm doing this is because the colors that I'm going to be using are matte but I want to give them a little bit more pop so I'm just going to be applying that as usual on my eyelids just very gently I don't want to poke myself in the eye and on the other lid And while I'm giving those just a little bit of time to rest, I wanted to show you the palette that we're going to be using. Again, it is the Morphe one. This is 35 in. As always, this is one of my, like, this is probably my favorite palette. It is my go-to. I use this for almost every single everyday look. Just because it has such a beautiful array of colors. Like, these are such good everyday colors that can easily be transformed into a going out look. So, to start off, we're going to take our Real Techniques brush. This is, again, one of the fluffy ones. And this is in their eye kit or whatever. Um, really inexpensive, and I love these brushes. So, I'm going to start off with kind of a nice nude color. And I'm going to be adding a color on top of this. That's why I want to go with the nude first. So, I'm just applying that right to the beginning, the corners of my eyes. And on the other eye. And we're all done with that. Next is going to be moving on 
to again the Luxie brush again, my fluffy brush, my favorite brush, my go-to brush. And I'm going to be dipping that in. If you watched my last video, I called this headstone gray. <laughs> that is not the actual color, but I'm going to be using that gray color. Then I'm going to be tapping any excess off the tip of my brush and applying that directly to the middle of my eye. And I don't want to go too heavy on this gray because while it is a nighttime look, I just want it to be like a little smoky, but not too much. Okay, and then again with the other eye. I really, really like this brush because it picks up a good amount of pigment without being overwhelming. I've had a few brushes in the past that will pick up too much pigment and then I have to try to blend and blend and blend and blend until it turns out to be the color I want and I didn't want that with this brush. Okay, again, I'm actually going to be taking the color off using my new Vera Mona color switch. So you just take it and then you swirl the brush in this little like black sponge thingy and then it takes all of the color off of that brush so you can use a different color. And I'm going to be using this pretty black right down at the bottom and I'm just, just a little, 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 little bit and I'm just going to gently tap and blend that into the gray. Like I said, I don't want this to be too dramatic. It is a nighttime look, so I want it to be a little bold, not too bold. And again, on the other side, just a little bit. And blend. Go to blend until your arm falls off. This is probably the most time consuming part of this whole makeup routine. Pinky promise. So if you can just get past the eyeshadow, you're good. And we're all done with our eyeshadow. So I promise I told you it wasn't gonna be super crazy. Pinky pinky promise. And then we're gonna start off, we're gonna finish with our the rest of our face because I'm gonna go back to my eyebrows once I've applied all that other stuff so that the colors and any of like the loose highlighter doesn't stick into my eyebrows okay so we're gonna start off with just a little bit of contouring again with my lovely Tarte bronzer in Park Avenue Princess using my Real Technique sculpting brush so I'm just gonna take just a little bit tap off any extra and then go into my cheeks and like I've said before, this is not a must. If contouring just isn't your thing, it just isn't your thing. And that's totally cool. Don't let anybody tell you that this is a must or a necessary part of makeup because it totally 100% isn't. Any part of makeup that you don't want to do isn't necessary. Like, it's just the bottom line. Um, I know a lot of makeup artists that don't even use primer. For me, primer is a must only because my skin's super oily, so it just makes it really, really easy to start with like a good, fresh, matte slate. So, now that I'm all done with my bronzer, I'm going to move on to my blush. And again, taking the Becca Cosmetics, this is Blushed Copper, I want to say. I just want to make sure. Blushed Copper. So I was right. I'm not crazy. Well, I'm a little crazy. Taking my slinted, angled blush brush I'm gonna tap off any extra and I'm just gonna go in and I just want to blend this right into the apples of my cheeks just right in to get a good I'm slightly embarrassed look cuz I mean let's be honest that's kind of what blush is for right we all want to look like we're slightly embarrassed, but not totally embarrassed. Which I find really funny, because I don't get embarrassed too often. Seldom, seldom do I ever get embarrassed. I cannot remember the last time I was truly embarrassed. Mainly because 
I just have no shame. Um, I was my mom's only child and I always have been like kind of the center of attention in the family so if I did anything stupid people brought it up forever. I still have things that are brought up and I'm just kind of used to it by this point. Next step is my favorite step, highlighter. So I'm using my Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics and my Real Techniques fan brush. So let's get started. I'm gonna take that highlighter and apply it on top of my cheekbones. Yeah. To make me look like the glowing goddess I was meant to be. Unfortunately, I wasn't born Diana. But, with some highlighter, I can certainly pretend like I am. And just take just a little bit and go straight down your nose. And moving on to my second highlighter because one highlighter just is never enough. Using Urban Decay, the color is Aura. And taking again that Real Techniques brush, and I'm just going to gently pat that on top of it. I love this color, I think it's so pretty. And it just, it really adds a nice dimension to Champagne Pop. And again, just a little, little bit, because this is very shimmery, straight down your nose. And. I'm going to take this other very small Morphe brush that I usually use to accent on top of my eyebrow bones, which I will be doing later, but this is specifically just to accent right in that crease. Just to kind of make my eyes pop just a little bit more, I'm going to be taking that color and having a party with it. If you don't have a brush, totally fine. You can just take your pinky, dip it in there, and then gently apply that right to the corner of your eye. And this will just make your eyes pop just a little bit more, which is super, super awesome. It kind of pulls in the look for me. Um, my eyes are kind of almond-ish shaped, so it just adds a new dimension that I really, really like to it. Okay, moving on. We're all done with our blush, we're all done with our highlighter, and we're gonna move on to these lovely caterpillars on my face. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my Anastasia brush with that really nice chiseled point and the spoolie on the other end. And the color pomade that I use is dark brown. And I'm just going to take just a little bit, just a little bit, oops, I got too much. And I'm going to apply that to my brows. As I've said before, my eyebrows are pretty full already. I just like to accentuate them a little bit, kind of fill in any color that, you know, isn't already there. And I don't really do my eyebrows like a lot of makeup artists do because this is just what works for me. And then I'm going to flip over to that spoolie end and then I'm going to pull any excess product to make sure that I don't have like a glob of pomade in my eyebrow because that just would not be good. Okay, and I'm going to finish. Again, everybody cross your fingers that the eyebrow gods shine upon me this evening. And my tail turns out good. I always find that funny that this is called a tail. I don't know why that's so like humorous to me, but for some reason it totally, totally is. And I am pretty happy with that one. So we're going to move on to the next eyebrow. And hope that it turns out just as nice as the other one. So again, I'm just going to quickly apply that. Do, 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 do. And flip over to the spoolie end to drag any extra product through because I can already see in my mirror that I added just a little too much. That's why I love this brush. It just pulls everything so beautifully and it makes sure that I don't leave any extra so I'm not like hitting myself in the face and accidentally having like this big schmear of eyebrow because that, that's not going to be cute. 
not gonna be cute at all. Okay, here comes the defining moment. As always, let's see if our tails will match. I feel like it's a game show almost. That'd be an interesting game show. Not totally perfect, but you know what? Neither am I. And that's the best part about makeup is just fooling around, having fun, and hoping that it turns out great. Okay, so I'm all done with that. I'm going to take my Too Faced Instant Brow Lift and just apply that gently underneath my eyebrows, right at the arch on both sides, just to kind of make that arch a little bit more defined. And I will be taking another angled brush and I'm just going to try to blend that out so it doesn't look like I have two awkward stripes underneath. Do, do, do. And like I said earlier, there is no part of this that is a must. Seriously guys, have fun with it, play around, see what works for you. If this just isn't your thing, if there's any part of this that just isn't your thing, that's totally okay. Like, just make it work for you. This is what works for me. So I'm going to take that Morphe brush again, just that little flat one, and I'm going to take some of Aura again. And just gently apply that underneath the brow bone where I highlighted it. Just to bring a hint of shimmer to a semi-matte look. And the reason I like to use, this is the reason I like to use that um, Sin instead of the original. is because I knew I was going to be adding just a hint of sparkle to it. So I wanted to make, I didn't want to have totally matte and then shimmer and it just not flow right. So we are all done with that. Like always, I don't like people to watch me curl my eyelashes because I think it's creepy. So I will be back in a flash. Uh, today's going to be just a little bit different since I'm going for a more dramatic look. So I am going to start off with my Maybelline Full and Soft again. However, I'm only going to do just one thin layer to kind of prime my lashes for the mascara that I will be using afterwards. Woo! And now that that is all done, we are today going to be using Unique Fiber Lash. I really, really like this. I know it's kind of a joke in like both the direct sales world and the beauty world that this gives you spider leg lashes. I think you just have to be able to work it right. There is a bit of a learning curve. I bought it as kind of like a joke to myself because I wanted to see how it worked and it took me a good like five or six uses to really figure out the product. So I'm going to be starting off with my transplant gel and I'm just going to be applying that on top of the lashes already. And then on the other side. And then while your mascara is still wet, you're going to be taking the fibers and applying them as well. And then again on the other side. And then you're going to be taking the transplant gel again and applying on top of the fibers just to make sure they don't fall off. This is also Unique's new formula. I have their other one, but I actually very, very, very much prefer this new formula. The brush is a lot better and the fibers don't clump together. So I am a huge, huge fan 
They don't sell Unique, but I do have a lot of their products that I actually really, really like. And I know that they have this their big convention or whatever going on right now. So I'm seeing a lot of updates and so I have a lot more new products that I'm kind of excited to get my hands on eventually. So with that being said, I'm going to move on to my bottom lashes. Again, I'm using Telescopic. This is from L'Oreal. And I just, I've said this before, but I really like this brush. It's really, like, I, I know you can't see that very well, but it has these little itty bitty ridges to kind of grab those itty bitty lashes. And it's going to separate them really, really nicely. Excuse my putting on mascara face. I know everybody has their weird, like, kind of face, but I'm trying really hard to like close my mouth so I don't look like a codfish, but we'll see how that actually goes. I am almost done. Woo! So we are all done with that. And again, I have foundation all over my lips, which is never a good look. So I'm going to be using one of my new ColourPop Ultra Mattes. I am super excited. This is Creeper. Like I told you in my ColourPop mini haul video, this is such a really pretty red and it's such a good night on the town look. So we are going to give this one a go and let's apply. So I'm starting in my cupid's bow as always just because it's such an easy starting point for me. Mine's very defined so it just works for me to start there. And down. And here comes one of the ugliest of faces you'll see in my entire video. And now for the bottom lip. So as you guys can tell, I have my lip pierced, so it's kind of a bit of a circus act to try to get lipstick on sometimes. And we're all done. Just a nice, very simple look to kind of just, you know, make you feel really good about yourself when you're going out on the town. I love red lipstick, so I have a ton of them. And this red lipstick is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. It applied so flawlessly. This is my first time actually applying that specific color to my lips. Um, I know with any red or any purple or any dark color like that, when you apply them, they can be a little bit streaky. And this really is, I mean, I can see myself very clearly in my little hand mirror, and it looks so good. The lines are nice and crisp. I'm super, super pleased with this. Um, that's really all I wanted to show you guys. Um, if you have any other questions, if you want to know any of the products that I used in particular, any brush that I used in particular, just send a comment. I will totally answer it as soon as I possibly can. But I'm super excited. I'm actually going to go have dessert with a really good friend of mine. So if you liked this video, be sure to like and comment. If you want to see more videos like this and you want to stare at my face some more, be sure to click that subscribe button. But have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.